guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video. So I'm here for another episode of my cook with me. I'm so excited because we're going to be making a creamy chicken Tuscan pasta. I tried this out for the first time about a month and a half ago and when I tell you, it was so good. I'm literally obsessed and I couldn't wait to come and share it with you guys. So for those of you guys who love pasta, love a little creamy comfort food type of deal, you're going to love this one. So with that being said, let's jump right in. <laughs> So for your ingredients, you're going to need your penne pasta, but feel free to use rigatoni if you have a preference, that's completely fine, but yeah, I'm going to be using penne today. Next up, you're going to need some grape tomatoes. I know a lot of people are not like huge fans of tomato, but I promise you, this dish will not be tomatoey. okay? You'll be fine. Next up, we're going to need some spinach. Um, I would prefer you use an entire bag of spinach if you... You know, because spinach is kind of just, once you cook it, it becomes nothing. But I have a half a bag here, so we have some spinach. Also going to need some sun-dried tomatoes. And um, we're not going to really use the tomatoes out of here, but I love to use the oil from it. Um, and I'll show you why. But yeah, going to need some sun-dried tomatoes. And this is also a really good staple to have in your home. It goes in, it goes with a lot of things. Um, so yeah, you're gonna also need some uh, minced garlic. You're gonna need some Parmesan cheese. I do prefer you get this like freshly shaved from Whole Foods and don't like use those like packaged ones. Please don't. Um, so yeah, prefer you get like a freshly um, grated one. But use what you have. And finally, you're gonna need some chicken breast chopped up. However you want your chicken to be sliced. I seasoned mine overnight. Um, that's not mandatory, but I chose to do so just to kind of make my life easier. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the ingredients. And I will list on the screen here what I added to my chicken to season it. But yeah, with that being said, let's get cooking. I'm going to be using my Our Place cast iron pan for the chicken. I just love cooking chicken in a cast iron pan. So I'm going to just get this over here. I'm going to turn the burner on. And um, we're going to take that sun-dried tomato I shared with you guys earlier and we're gonna just pour out some of the oil from in here and this is what we're gonna use to cook the chicken and it's literally spilling all over my finger and on the back burner here while the pot heats up we're going to just get the pasta water ready because this recipe is seriously under 30 minutes so we're gonna be moving pretty quickly so we're gonna salt that water all right so let's get the chicken into the pot here now the heat is nice and high As you guys can see, the chicken has a really nice color going on at the moment. I'm just going to take the chicken out of the pan because they are done cooking. In this exact same pan, we're going to add our tomatoes. And a little bit of that minced garlic. Now when garlic burns, it has a really weird taste, so don't let this cook for too long. Once the garlic becomes fragrant, add a little chicken broth to kind of tone down the cooking, okay? Just that much, you don't need a lot. I'm just kind of just loosen up the seasonings that have um, gotten stuck to the pan from the chicken. You're gonna have this nice, beautiful, little watery looking base, you know? So this is one of those like meals that cooks super fast. It's perfect for when you wanna make something really quick. Especially if you have a family, this is like a quick and easy under 30 minute recipe. Right now, we're just gonna wait for the pasta to boil, then we're gonna transfer everything. I also wanna switch out my pot though. I love cooking with my caraway hands. I kinda wanna put it in this. So let me just switch things over, especially now that the seasoning has lifted from this pan, all the flavors will have no issues transferring to this, um, to this pot. So let's do it. We really want our pasta to be al dente, you guys. I don't play about that. Al dente means it needs to have a little bite to it, not soggy. All right, let's take this off and strain it. 
Okay, now let's jump into the fun part of this video. We have our tomato and the sauce there cooking, which is pretty good. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more chicken broth, like a tad bit more. And the reason for this is just to give the pasta a little bit of slip because we're gonna go in now with our heavy cream. And then we're gonna go in and add a little bit more seasoning. We're gonna go in with some more Italian seasoning. We're just gonna give this a little stir. The reason why I say to add freshly grated um, cheese is because I want it to melt and not just be, you know, like sitting in the sauce. And I find that those like fake cheese that they sell in the grocery store, the little bottled one, they don't always melt. Ooh, you see that nice bubble? That's what we want. Lovely. Mmm. We're gonna go ahead and add in our spinach now only because we want this to cook down a little bit. Now that we've added our spinach in, things are cooking really quickly. Go ahead and add in your chicken. And the chicken is so juicy. Did you see all, all that juice just fall in here? And this is why we have the chicken broth to just go in and add whenever things are looking a little bit too thick. You want your sauce to be like very saucy go in and add more ingredients. It's really something that you have to eyeball. If you like your pasta on the drier side, you will just, you know, not add as much chicken broth, of course, and heavy cream. But basically, this is what our little creamy Tuscany base is looking like. And it looks so good. It smells so good. The one thing about making these sort of videos, you guys can't smell with me. But oh my goodness, that smells amazing. Mm, everything's looking really, really good. So now is when we're gonna add in our pasta now that we've come to a boil, lower the flame or the electricity in my case, and just add in your pasta. And we're just going to toss this up, completely cover the penne in this lovely, lovely sauce. Mmm, guys, do you see that creaminess? Do you see that creaminess? Oh, amazing. Okay, let's serve. So this is what the pasta looks like. So delish. In terms of what bowl we serve this in, I don't know, but let's use this one. I hope no one starts roasting me for not using my own images in the thumbnails, but I literally cannot plate food to save my life. I'm not a good plater. It's my weakness. Just no say tastes good. Okay, so here we have the finished product, my creamy chicken Tuscan pasta. Honestly, words cannot describe how amazing this tastes, and it's so easy to cook. It's under 30 minutes, and I, you will not regret it, and I feel like it's one of those dishes that, it's a comfort food, and it just, just hits the spot all the time, and perfect for a cold winter day, might I add. So yeah, try this out, let me know what you think. Let's do a little taste before I meet you guys. Um, I'm so excited to eat, I'm also like really hungry, so this first bite is gonna be on the obnoxious side because I really want everything on this fork. The spinach, tomato, the pasta, and chicken. This is a good bite. Mmm. I'm drinking some lots of before my talk, yeah? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you try out my creamy Tuscan chicken pasta. So let me know what you guys think if you do and I'll see you guys soon. Oh, I'm going to hurry up. <laughs>